Welcome to Communication Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain you SSBD modulation. So, in this session, I'll be going to explain you single segment suppressed carrier demodulation process. So, in this process, what we will be doing is there will be input signal that will be SSB SC signal and our output signal that will be original means modulating signal. So, here as I have said our signal is SSBSC input signal that SSBSC input signal that could be upper side bend or that could be lower side bend. So this signal possibilities are FC plus FM where FC is carrier signal and FM is modulating signal or it could be FC minus FM. Let us consider out of these two case, like I have this SSBSC signal, let us say it is FC plus FM. And here we have carrier signal, that is what local oscillator signal. So local oscillator is having two functions that one, one need to understand. Local oscillator is being used to generate carrier signal and second thing that is there with local oscillator that is it should be synchronous by frequency and phase at transmitter and receiver. So this is what we need to understand. Local oscillator generates carrier signal and it should be synchronized by frequency and phase at transmitter as well as at receiver side. So this carrier signal, let us say that signal is having frequency at C. So here SSBSC that we have considered with frequency of FC plus FM. So here we have FC plus FM signal and he, here we have carrier signal that is FC. Now see product modulator that is generating DSBSC output. So product modulator that generates DSBSC of two inputs. So here we'll be having two bands. One is lower side band and one is upper side band. Now see what will be lower side band. Lower side band will be this frequency minus this frequency. So lower side band will be FC plus FM minus FC. FC plus FM minus FC and that is FM. And upper side band that will be addition of these two frequency that is FC plus FM plus FC. So upper side band that will be FC plus FM plus FC. It means that is 2 FC plus FM. Now see we have two bands over here. One is having frequency that is FM. That is our modulating signals frequency. And second band is having frequency 2 FC plus FM. So that is having higher frequency. So if you see its frequency response, so you'll be finding its frequency response is like here we have FM, right? So this is what our one band and second is FC plus FM. Let us say it is over here. So 2 FC plus FM is this frequency response. But this is amplitude and this is frequency. So here we have two bands. One is having frequency band of FM and second is having frequency band of 2FC plus FM. Now, when you pass through this signal through low pass filter, then low pass filter that is having filtration of signal with respect to lower frequency only. So we just pass it with filter which is having frequency response somewhat this. So only this band that will pass it through so you'll be having output that is FM which is what having message. 
let us have one example so it will be more clear like see i have ssbsc and that is having frequency of 103 kilohertz i have carrier signal that is having frequency 100 kilohertz so there are two bands one is 3 kilohertz and second is upper side band that will be 203 kilohertz now if i choose low pass filter of bandwidth of 5 kilohertz in that case this is what having frequency 0 to 5 kilohertz then it will be allowing this signal so original signal will be extracted see that is how we can design demodulation technique for SSBSC by using product modulator so this is what about detection of SSBSC original signal and this is the basic process I hope that this session is clear to all thank you so much for watching this video you can give me your valuable suggestions your suggestions are highly required to me which will explains me like what is that which is required over here and based on that I'll place videos in future I will add all your suggestions in my to-do list and based on that I'll place videos in future thank you so much for watching this video